Now to a stunning discovery by Cincinnati police, a 13 year old with guns and ammunition. It's not just the arsenal that's shocking, but what those guns were armed with. Local 12's Christian Hauser joins us now with what's becoming an all too common thing. Hi, Christian. Good evening, Morello. That's right. This is the 13, not even 16 years old, that police have recovered handguns from. Now, officers say that they found a Glock 19 with a laser sight attached to it, as well as a 30-round extended magazine, plus another handgun, a Glock 48, which was reported stolen. Now, just two weeks ago, more guns, including one from a 15-year-old, a day and a day before that, a 14-year-old was found to have had a stolen gun in his possession. Uh, community activists that I talk with know that kids younger and younger are getting a hold of these weapons and that it's easier for some to get a gun than it is to get a driver's license. Some of them are being, you know, given the guns for their own protection. Some of them are being uh, trained how to use the guns or not trained how to use the guns. So it's a number of things that are happening. But when you have a 13 year old that feels that they need a gun in order to protect themselves at that stage in their lives, you can tell then how deep this issue really is. And for about two hours tonight, a group of about two dozen concerned people got together to try and find solutions to this growing deadly problem. They had high school students and coaches from in clergy there, and everyone focused on ways to reach these kids before they get involved with guns. Organizer Philip O'Neill knows there's not one simple solution. Just trying to pick people's brains from some of the older generation, younger generation, um, generation like myself, um, to figure out exactly what everybody's concerns are, what everybody's needs are right now, how we can collaborate together in helping to solve our issue. Now, one of the focal points of tonight's conversation was finding something positive for kids to do when they're not at home or in school. O'Neill says that one of the many goals for his group is to create a network to let kids around the city know about safe events going on in the area. They hope to host an event within the first few months of school returning and build from there. Now, the guns that have been recovered by the city's um, officers have been all throughout the area. It's not just one part of town that they're finding these guns, and sadly, they'll likely continue to find more. For now, though, live in the West End, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. Thank you, Christian. And these guns have been found by the city's gun crime task force, the gang enforcement squad, and with the help of the ATF.